One of the most memorable gigs I ever had was the time I had to play blind. I didn't know the set list, I didn't know the songs beforehand. I got a phone call from my friend at Youth for Christ who said that at their event, their guitarist suddenly called in sick and they had to continue the program without him and asked if I could come in and sub. I was free that night and so I said, yes, I'll do it, even though I had no idea what the songs were. And between the phone call and the gig, it was about four to five hours. Once I got a hold of the set list, I did the most important thing that a musician should be doing. Listen, listen to the songs. I queued up all 16 tracks on YouTube and I just played them in the car from start to finish. So even though I mentioned that I played blind, I'm not going in completely cold. I had to learn at least to be familiar with what the song is and maybe the style and the vibe of the song. You can only do that if you listen to it. So if you do get a phone call to do a last minute gig, the first thing you should do is listen as much and as hard as you can. The second thing you need to do is to figure out the hook or any distinct parts that electric guitar is in charge of. Once I got a phone call, once I listened to the songs, I called back my friend YFC and said, hey, who's doing these parts in these songs? And he gave me as much information as he could and I could fill in the gaps with that kind of uh, information. Tip number three is after you've gone through the hooks, after you've gone through the identifiable parts of a song that a guitar is going to do, if you're already done with that, then your job is to play rhythm. If you can hear that the acoustic guitar is doing like open position chords, then play something on position five and seven onwards, just to be on the upper part of the real estate or fretboard so that the acoustic guitar can stay down there. Then use techniques that are unique to the electric guitar to complement the acoustic. Are there parts that you can power mute? Are there parts that you can play uh, arpeggiate like chords, clean chords with delay. Are there any special effects that in the song that your guitar can handle? If so, take a piece of paper and write it down or at least note it down on your phone so that you can refer to those notes as you play. Tip number four, when you reach the venue, ask for a copy of the charts and the music stand if they have it. They should have a copy of charts and a music stand because there's a situation where the guitarists are supposed to come. If not, I'm going to recommend that you memorize your production notes on your notepad or your piece of paper, what have you. Have it somewhere written down that you can take it out and quickly refer to it for the next song. Tip number five is have fun. You might be a sub, you might not know the song in its entirety, you might get some of the cuts and the rhythm parts wrong. But if you're having fun and if you exude that confidence on the guitar, it's going to go a long way to making up for the fact that you are a substitute. Remember, sometimes in music performance, 80% how you play and 20% what's actually being played. So never mind the wrong notes, go out, have fun. If you give energy to the crowd, the crowd will give it back to you, as Marco Miniman said. And that's me. How about you? How have you been dealing with last minute gig request situations? Do you have a process that you follow or are you really going blind and playing by feel? Let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, hit that bell icon and I'll see you in the next one.